Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. I wanted to talk about the little custom backup camera I wanted to do. Um, I was thinking a backup camera would be helpful in this big long car. And uh, I didn't want one that would stick out like a sore thumb because I wanted to keep the dash looking original. I didn't want a giant screen in there. Um, so when I took the dash apart to get the clock out, which is shot, it doesn't run anymore. I'm gonna hang on to it though. Um, it left a nice square little hole and I found a two and a half inch uh, little screen. Um, and I th I'm learning 3D printing. So I 3D printed this little screen holder that fits on to the housing the clock used to go into. So it lines it up the right depth into the dash. Now this little screen, it wasn't very expensive. I want to say it was about $50. I mean, it's fairly expensive for the size, but it's got a little built-in power supply board, right? I just, uh, I taped it to the back there and uh, comes with a power supply cable and it runs off of six to 12 volts DC. Perfect for an automotive application. And then you got your little RCA plug to plug in your camera and uh, there it is. Um, it's going to fit right exactly where the clock goes. So let me show you. Okay. So here's where the clock used to go. And it took a few tries to get the, the spacing right and everything, but I got it. And as you can see, it'll fit right through there. And then boom. You hardly notice it's there. It just looks like a blank spot for warning lights or something. And uh, yeah, I've got the RCA cable run for it. Let me show you the camera itself, which I have back in the trunk. It's pretty straightforward. I got it off of eBay. It was about $11. It's got little backup lights on it. It's very small. You got two leads on it. One's your power plug, one's your uh, video out. Here's your power. That's what goes into that red plug there. You got your power and your ground. You just wire it up to your reverse lights. And then the RCA cable they give you has, where is it? Here it is. Just regular old, regular old RCA cable like you'd find on a you know, VCR, the old video game system. But it does have an extra wet red wire. So you don't have to run an additional power all the way up through the car. Um, it's embedded in the in this cable, so that saves you a little bit of trouble. And I got my hole drilled to run that wire down there. And I'll mount up my camera. I mocked it up already, not installed in the car, and it worked pretty well for a tiny screen. It's it's clear, it's pretty bright, and um, I think it'll be real handy without making the uh, dash look too different than original. Um, and then this is another camera I got. I was trying to figure out how to mount it. This is the one that, as you can probably tell, it, it goes up on top of your license plate. But this piece is a little bulky because uh, it is one of those flip-down license plates that hides the gas cap. And you need clearance for that to, uh, to get out of the way. So I'm going to stick with a smaller one. And I'll do another video. I'll show you how it goes when it's done. Thank you. Bye, everyone.